I happen to be one of those, I, I happen to be a climate change pessimist. I really believe climate change is a reality. I think it's a reality that would dominate all social discourse by 2030. Every, I think every decision people are making about their lives would in one sense or another be influenced by, by the impact of climate change. And I don't see at the moment in my granddaughters um, the, the kind of capacity to, to, to deal with that, to address that, to understand what the ramifications of that are. But I certainly wouldn't write them off. They're bright, sparky, intelligent kids. But I just worry about this, how distanced they are from any notion of, of sacrifice. I think about the other day that I wonder what the things would change if we started, instead of talking about uh, suicide bombers, we started talking about sacrificial bombers and began to understand that there are people in the world who think there are things worth dying for. And actually that that, that thought then forced us to begin to empathize with what it was they felt was worth dying for. We're not good at that. You know, we're in the West, we're in the privileged West, and I include the United States, the UK, Western Europe. We're just not very good at climbing inside, each, climbing inside the imaginations of people who are struggling, who have a, just got a completely different MO from us. And that is particularly true of the younger generation.